Hey, Rachel here from Live to Play Sports. There's a ton of different styles of bike pumps out there, so today I'm going to take a look at a few different varieties from Topeak and figure out which might be best for your next ride. We'll take a look at a few varieties including floor pumps, hand pumps, mini floor pumps, and CO2. Floor pumps are great for home or shop use or for stashing in your trunk for using at the trailhead. Investing in a pump with a gauge will make your life easier because you'll always know your tires are inflated to the proper pressure. Too little pressure and you may get a flat, and too high and you could blow your tires off the rim. If your tires are too firm, you'll also have a super bumpy ride on the road and very little traction on the trail. Some pumps come in high pressure varieties designed to get road and track tires above 100 psi. High volume pumps are designed to get larger mountain bike tires inflated quickly and give a more accurate reading on lower pressures under 30 psi. Also look for a floor pump with both Presta and Schrader valves so you can easily switch between different bikes without too much trouble. Hand pumps are smaller and lighter and designed more for emergencies when you get a flat. They generally don't have a gauge so you'll have to guess your tire pressure. Same as with floor pumps, they're available in high pressure and high volume models. Because of their small size, it can take a while to get your tire up to pressure. Mini floor pumps are an in-between option. They offer the portability of a hand pump and the stability of a floor pump. But they aren't as light or as small as a mini pump, so depending on how light you want to pack, it might be a little large for your daily ride. They do make it very easy to pump up your tires, though. For riders looking for the lightest and quickest fix, CO2 cartridges are a great option. They inflate road and mountain tires very quickly to high pressures and can even sometimes reseal tubeless leaks. The drawback to CO2 is that they're a one-time use. The canisters aren't easy to recycle either, so they may be best saved for racing or rides when you're trying to pack ultralight. Personally, I have one of each of these styles of pumps. A floor pump at home, a hand pump on my road bike, a mini floor pump on my mountain bike, and a CO2 stashed in my kit for race days. If you have any questions, tweet us at LTP Sports and check out our website for more tips and tricks. Until next time, Live to play sports, connecting people with cycling.